Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have the SPC95GF and this is a 95mm brushless micro quadcopter. And it's a bit on expensive size, around 200, it's anywhere between $197 to 207 bucks. So is it really worth paying 200 bucks for a micro? And this is the whole idea why I purchased it. It looks pretty sick, it looks pretty insane. On paper it looks absolutely awesome. The price is a little bit like a punch in the face, really. So I wanted to see, is it any good? So um, taking a look at the stuff that, stuff that it comes with, it does come with pretty well a lot of stuff, actually. They give you two gem fan, two pairs of, two sets of gem fan propellers, which is good. They do give you a proper FPV camera. This is the Runcam Micro, and it is a Runcam. This is not a clone. Uh, the VTX is pretty good. Buzzer LED, 4.1 ESC. The whole stack is very clean, very nice. It's executed very beautiful. The frame is hella fat. It's like two millimeters, very thick frame. So this thing can take a beating and the whole color scheme just gives it that extra little pop. Now, is this all worth 200 bucks? Well, yes and no. So let's just start by this. Now, with the stuff they provide you with, it's a huge plus. They give you this nice bag here. They give you two batteries, and the batteries are pretty good. They're not bad at all. However, I'd stick to these guys here uh, for batteries. Um, it does, it's just, it's beautiful here. Check this out. Uh, I usually fit, fit, fit two micros in here without propellers, and it's totally fine. They give you some extra stuff here and there, and some adapters. And overall, you know, this whole case right here gives it a little bit of, uh, you could say 20 bucks adds 20 bucks to the value. But now back to my back to my point, is it worth 200 bucks? So for example, here's a quad, this is 120 bucks. It does come pretty much around the same stuff, but it just comes with a box and not a bag. And this one is 200 bucks. So is this one twice as good as this one? Well, it's four times better than this one. The only drawback to this guy is the camera angle cannot be changed no matter what. Oh, you probably can change it, but it's um, it's going to be very difficult. It's not changeable. It's just static. Um, but that's the only downside I really saw to it. Other than that, is this thing is hella insane. Hella fast. Super crazy. Um, it was just... I didn't expect this, to be honest. I didn't know what to expect, actually. Because there's some quads that sell... I'm not going to say any names. I got one, and I'm making the video on it. The thing doesn't even fly for 30 seconds. So that one's terrible. But, you know, paying 200 bucks, this was like a big kind of risk that I was willing to take to see how good it is. And to be honest, it's it's actually worth it, really. Um, it's, it's insanely fast, and it looks like it could take a beating. And I'll be definitely updating you on this. I was thinking of waterproofing this, but I'm afraid because it has so many connectors, and it's just... I don't want to ruin it because I really love it that much. I think I wouldn't say it's my favorite because it's so powerful and flight time can be reduced and dropped and the batteries do come down pretty damn hot sometimes. This thing is just insane, like really like um, it's almost as fast as the B Fight 210, which is a five inch quad. Um, it was that crazy. It's a two inch it's a two inch quadcopter micro here and it's just I, I didn't to be honest I didn't expect this. I didn't know what to expect. It felt pretty heavy when I got it. Let's actually check its weight here. And um I must say I'm hella impressed with this one. Um I didn't expect this at all. 74 grams. It weighs as much as a tarot 130. So it is a bit on the heavy side. So for example, let's take this guy. 51 grams. This guy flies absolutely beautiful, it's a lot cheaper, and um yeah, but this one's using some premium components in here. And uh, the overall soldering and everything in here is absolutely clean. The routing, nothing is just packed in there like an idiot or anything. And um, this thing doesn't do anything retarded in the air. If you give it full throttle, it'll give you everything it has. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little beast. There's no way in hell you're going to be flying this in a house. No way at all. Uh, maybe on a 2S or a 1S if it takes a 1S. Now what's so cool about this is that they even state that it takes a 2 to a 4S and it takes a 2 to a 4S HV LiPo, which is a high volt LiPo. So that is a huge plus. So this thing is really meant for racing. And this is what you would call a real micro for racing because this thing is hella fast, like unbelievably fast. And um, it's it was a very good one. Um, I was more than happy. Um, I, I don't consider this as a waste of money, to be honest. Um, the overall durability looks like it's going to be able to hold up very well. The motors are, you could find the motors and the frame. So the parts availability for this is very good. Plus it's 20 by 20, so it's very generic. So if you could, if you want to replace anything in the internals, you could totally can. And uh, you won't have any issues there. And um, 
overall, this was a very good buy. Um, I would highly recommend it if you have the cash and you're thinking about it. I would definitely say go jump on it because it was it, it's really that good. Once you get it, you'll know. And if anyone has it, please let us know down in the comment section what your thoughts and what your experience is with this guy because this guy was just insane. And um, yeah, well, that's all I could really say right now, guys. So I really hope you guys liked the video and I'm going to leave you guys with the FPU footage. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.